Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing this look right here. It's kind of a chassis, kind of moderately in depth. Like I think I kind of trailed off on a bit of a tangent as we always do. Um, but yeah, it's for this look right here today. Um, a softer glam for me, definitely. Um, so of cheaper, kind of more affordable products as well. So it's not going to cost you. It's not. It's not a. It's not a glam lift guru ten thousand dollar face. It's a hundred quid face tool probably. Brushes included. You also get a free puppy. You don't get a free puppy, but you might get a free puppy. Who knows? Depending on the, uh, you know, the promotion at the time. Um, so yeah guys, this is the look I'm doing today. Um, I guys hope you enjoy it. I really hope you would subscribe and really like the video. It really does help me out. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, bye. Good morning. Okay, so I zoomed you guys in. Um, and we're going to start off with the eyes as always. And that's how I do my makeup. Um, I always just start off with eyes. If you're new here, that's what I do. It's always the way I do things. I just like the security blanket off of the fact that if I sp if I mess up, if I have fall down, anything like that, it doesn't bother me. I can just clean up and go. It's easy enough. Uh, I have already done my brows and I've already primed my eyes with concealer. Um, I'm just going to tap out those creases. I don't set it because I like how pigmented my eyeshadows come out when I don't, which is cool. I'm um, going to be mostly going into a little bit old school boy, uh, old school indeed, uh, the Morphe 35 l um, She is, she's a bit beaten up, but that's okay. Uh, first going to go into Sky here. I'm just going to give it a in there. And just going to go right in the crease really. I can go back and forth, back and forth, just build that up. I'm gonna blow it out nicely. Really bring it out actually. So how are you guys? <laughs> what have y'all been up to? I posted the other day actually on my uh, Instagram that I had a lot of things changing for me and I kind of do that Julie. It's quite exciting. Um, so I'm kind of nervous, kind of anticipation kind of thing. I'm really going to go back into the palette and I'm going to go with Ooh, girl, I do not know. Yeah, this guy here, a bit of an old favourite. Uh, just this guy here. Go to this guy here. And again, tap off the excess. And go her up. Ooh. And again, mostly focusing on the crease. Shockingly enough, this will be a warm, smoky eye. I don't really care. This is what I would wear on a night out. And this is what we're gonna do. <laughs> and then you go in with a smaller kind of bullet brush. Excuse the hand, by the way, we've had a tragedy. I lost my nail in a gorilla fighting accident. And I'm gonna go in with a slightly deeper shade. We go with this guy. With a smaller brush, and we're gonna tap off and kind of, kind of more stamp that into the crease at this point, and then kind of blend it out once it's kind of put less product on there. And then back in with the brush you used just before. No extra product, just using it as a buff out. First brush we used, I just give it a bit of a clean off. Because I'm lazy and it's fine. Um, I'm going to use kind of a yellowy mustardy kind of tone to it, so yeah, I'm going to do it. So, first, I'm going to go with Chickadee for Makeup Geek. As you can see, Chickadee is well loved. She is my fave, and I've heard that she's being discontinued. I don't know how I've had it. Marlena, what you did? 
I'm just gonna dust this right on the edges of our transition. And then I'm gonna go into a yellow. Uh, I'm gonna use the yellow from Make Revolution color palette. Uh, this is the, what's it? Yeah, Revolution Pro Regeneration Trans, Trans Mischief Mats. Girl, why, why? Then again, there's quite a bit of fallout with these, so I'm just gonna dust it on there. A little kind of add the yellowness in there. Lovely, lovely. Bringing this quite far up, as you can see. I didn't put down a, like a brown highlight. I think I should have because I filled up my brow space very quickly, but I will go back in and bash this down a little bit. Um, it's easy fixed. Right, so. And then I'm going to go in with. Yes, so this is like my. Such a basic way of doing an eye. This is all how I always do an eye. Uh, this is my little 227 here. And. Actually, you know what? Back in with this palette. This is a really nice warm brown here. Upper hand from the Make Revolution Pro palette. There's quite a lot of fallout on these ones though. Um, I do want to do a look with this though because it's quite nice for a very colourful palette. It's very nice. I'm going to go right in the corner here, just to get out of V and bring it into the crease. the same shade as a little bullet brush this time. I'm gonna really stamp that over there. Okay, um, I'm now gonna go in back into the Morphe palette and I'm gonna use this little rose gold here, just with my finger. And just like that. Ooh, girl. I'm gonna just pack that on. Easy peasy. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, why did I use the old, like, why, why, why? So I'm gonna go back in with my non nailed nail and. live life easily for five seconds. Yeah, I got that right in there. So you could basically do it like that and just go kind of buff at the edges again. And so you kind of got a bit of separation from your bats, your shimmer. That's really pretty. That's quite it's actually not overly subtle, but I do like it. Um but the whole reason I wanted to do this look today was because of this. I bought this through the day um at Superdrug and I was like, you know what, I heard about them, they look really cute. Let's give them a try. Um, it's the Revolution Foils. Uh, this one is in Rebound. She's kind of a goldy girl. She's cute. I don't usually buy gold. Um, but I've, I've been divulging. I've been, I've been looking at them. They're kind of interested. Um, they recommend a brush and the little uh, kind of jewel line style stuff they have. Um, Western and water, basically. Um, but I prefer it just with my finger. And it's a really cool texture, it's like a putty kind of gel formula. So you can see that it's kind of just doing a whole kind of thing there. Not dissimilar from Colourpop. Like this one's a bit more jelly than Colourpop, but this is what it's designed to be. It's not designed to be a, a bounce shadow. Just on the upset finger that I have here. I'm gonna pop that on. And bring that right into the inner corner. Right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that though. How is she though? So just from like the inner corner, blowing out and like kind of fading out to the outer edge. Alright, in the inner corner. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm gonna sort of pat pat blend with this. And it's easy enough to kind of get a good transition. Oh, 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 gotta be like a princess. Gotta be like such a princess. Uh, trends, this just stupid palette. Uh, I just kind of highlight my brow bone with that real quick. Not doing this blending ever just lately. 
I'm going to go back in because I really want the mustard in the back. Mustard, you guys. Back in there, so I'm going to go over the yellow. I'm going to reintroduce that, and that will kind of give us the vibe I'm after. I'm going to go back in with a bright color because I fucked that up. A little bit harsh there. <laughs> Um, I'm then going to do the outer corner a bit more intensely, uh, more of the same upper hand colour from before. I'm going to just dust over the edges of that just to kind of bring back the darkness and the madness of it. I'm going to really pull it out as well. I'm going to bring it ever so slightly on top of the sparkles just so you've got a really good transition there. Um, and then you know, just make sure you go over everything, make sure it's nice and blended. Okay, beautiful. And I'm gonna go back with a little bullet brush here, back with the Morphe palette. Hey, how big these are. Um, I'm gonna go into, yeah, two of these shades here. Just so I put a bit more darkness on my outer corner. Just so it's really good for the depth of that because I want it a bit smokier. But yeah, it's what we've derailed from before. Um, so yeah, I was saying about big news and things. Um, I do, I am changing job. Um, it's not a huge change, it's just change of environment but it's also change of working hours which is quite nice um, for you for those who may not know or have not watched my Q&A uh, currently I work full-time as a bartender uh, currently I'm doing like late night cocktail bars and things like that I like late night whiskey bar um, I'm going to go on to do dispensary in a restaurant which is quite cool so it means easier hours um, we're sociable hours, shall we say, because I do work 3am most mornings and I work like 6pm to 3am, uh, which makes sort of shooting really difficult because a lot of people want you to kind of be in the studio for 9am and you're like, well I worked till 3 this morning and I didn't get home till 4, I didn't have my dinner till 5, I didn't get to bed till 6 or 7, so it's a bit of a pain when you have to explain to people go, I'm really sorry, but could it be like a mid-afternoon shoot or I have to take like the day off before? And also the day off the shoot, so I have to take two days off to do a four hour shoot, which is a bit of a pain in the arse. Um, but hopefully, with this job, it'll be a bit more feasible, shall we say. Um, gonna go in with old, old Lila here. I'm gonna do it nice and light. Yeah, apart from like the new job and stuff, I also uh, have one of my best friends moving down. Well, I don't move her down. That's lies. God, I'm just making these up now. Um, I'm gonna go with my Mac, uh, next matte one just because I like it. Uh, I would say the only thing about these glitter uh, kind of cushion things is because they're glitter, they have more texture to them. So you do need a liquid liner on top of this to kind of really make sure it's all like solid light when you do it on top. Um, Yeah, but apart from the whole new job thing, just start in less than a week actually, so I'm quite excited about that. Um, I also have one of my best best friends visiting me from up north. Uh, I would say Aberdeen, as people would know where Aberdeen is, but it's not even there, it's even further north. She's visiting from Elgin, more specifically Rothes in Elgin. Um, for you, you whiskey buffs is where Glen Grant is made. Fun fact of the day. Uh, you can tell whiskey's been my life for like two years. It's embarrassing. Really. I know so much about whiskey. I'll never, never need it again. I don't need it back a little bit. But yeah, um, I have my friend wizarding, which is really cool. I'm really excited to see her. Um, her name's Ali, and she's mental. We have been friends since we both went to college together, which was about, oh my god, that was like six, seven years ago. Fuck. Oh my god, it was longer than that. 
do that when I was like 18. <sighs> no. Yeah, that was like seven, eight years ago. I like, we're really old. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's quite nerve wracking in a really horrible way. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Shocking. Um, I'm gonna clean up that wig liner as well. But yeah, um, I'm quite excited because I haven't seen Ali since last year. I want to say last year, maybe even the year before, which is shocking. But I think that's kind of proof that you don't need to see a person on a regular basis and still be one of your closest friends like we talk a lot online and even if we don't it doesn't bother me because i know that she's still my friend um which is really nice um i think the last time we saw her was like i went up to visit uh after her son had been born and that was so cute because like i'm not really maternal uh, for those of you who may know me, I'm not maternal the slightest, uh, but I am actually Noah's godmother. Fun fact. Um, which I only found it recently means I actually do legally have to look after that kid if, if the worst happens. Another reason for Ali not to die. Like, just saying, I, I could not I could not look after a child. I should be allowed to look after children. Yeah, um, that is the top of the eye. I'm just going to go and uh, finish off this other eye. I'll come back with lashes on and then we will do the base and it'll be easy peasy. Okay, so obviously I've got lashes on and these are the Kylie from Sosu. Um, shocker, I love the Sosu lashes a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, I'm gonna go into my primer. It's the Primark Instagirl. Ah! Um, I'm gonna go to my uh, face primer. I just gonna need to block out some of the porridge and things like that on my skin. If I can get anything out of this because I'm running out hefty amounts. Right, that's far too much. Good job, Rosie. Right, just the usual bows There's like the centre of my face, my chin, and a bit on the forehead. Oh, I know this is so runny. I don't think I'll ever not have a row at home ever again. Uh, this is my life now. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that. Cool, 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 cool. Um, so, as I mentioned, I think in a separate video, I'm obsessed with stick foundations in it. It's becoming a problem that I'm buying like one or more every week. They're not like, expensive, which I think is it's fine. I think it's justifiable. Um, so yeah. <laughs> ah, I'm knocking things over. Um, I did actually do a review on the Primark Stick Foundation here that I'm using today. Um, I don't know if I want to post the review on it because I looked at the footage and it's kind of like I'm not, I'm not proud of it. I'm not happy after percent with it. Um, but you live, you learn. Um, <laughs> basically. Uh, actually, I'm going to put a glow on first. Why not? Actually, no, let's go. Uh, Peaches and Cream Lip Kind of Liberator. going to pop that basically. I don't know. Um, I like it. Because it gives a skin of the glow. I mean, stick foundations aren't traditionally that, so... It's, it's just adding more. It's just more and more and more. I want my skin to look the healthiest it can. Um, obviously, oh, that's the wrong colour. That could have been hilarious. That's my bronzer colour. Um, this is the very dirty one. Um, my perfect colour, Primark uh, Stick Foundation in Nude Beige. Have you know I'm not porcelain, I'm not ivory. How exciting. Uh, I'm just going to do that all over the face. I don't know why, but I get really grossed out by putting. Oh god, this is the one thing about this I would say is it catches on like a nostril or a piercing, and it's it's just gonna ruin it. They catch it, but I'm just gonna do that. 
actually have a piece of the spray. I don't know why, but yeah, like I say, I get really grossed out at putting stick foundations in my nose. I don't know why it really grosses me out. It's really sad. And then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution at F1. I'm going to use that as a kind of highlighting colour. And then I go in with another of the, <laughs> this is what I meant by buying foundation for the sake of buying foundation. Um, I got caramel, yeah, caramel um, from the Primark stick foundations and I use this as kind of a cream bronzer. Because I want to be bronzy for the first time in my life. Really, not very much of it to be honest. I can't read it for a contour because it's far too warm. Oh, lash. What's that lash up to? And uh, blend out the lace for bits first. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going for heavy, heavy coverage. I'm just going for like medium full. I'm kind of. Lately, in the last year or so, I think I've kind of gone off of fullest, fullest of full coverage. I've just kind of stopped being so obsessed with it. Uh, I've kind of gone, I think, right, I'm only 24, I'm turning 25 next year. But I do think I've kind of got more comfortable with skin as I've gotten older. Um, which is saying a lot because I still don't feel 100. Like, I still don't feel. Um, like the best every day, um, which I don't think anyone is, and no one's expected to. Um, and that's that's fine. There's still things that I like to work on. There's still things that I, you know, I still kind of. I don't know how to describe it. I'm still riddled with anxiety. But I think that's just a natural state for me at this point. Oh, deep thoughts. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think I've been thinking about doing a video on like anxiety and things like that and confidence because trust me, it's most of it isn't real. Um, I'm a very nervous, anxious person. I think I always have been, and for me to kind of go, you know what? Actually, I really, really shouldn't be caring anymore. Well, I've kind of calmed down in the caring, which is quite nice. It's a bit... That'll get fixed, don't worry about that. Girl! What happened here? <laughs> um, I'm going to concealer. Uh, this is the Makeup Revolution Concealer Divided F1. Um, sorry, C1. Um, Lies, lies, lies. Um, I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit though. Um, but yeah, I think like I've kind of gotten better at the self confidence thing. Like I say, I'm still not 100%. I used to kind of use the uh, example of I see images just posted by other people or like see other model that work by other models, and I go, I have that exact pose or that exact kind of like. I don't know how to describe it. I would say like, I'm not saying they're copying. I'm saying like I have a very similar style. I'll be something off about it. And I kind of go, I would never have posted that, but they look great. They look amazing. They look really, really good. And I have a very similar pose or a very similar like look. Um, and I kind of go, well, the only reason I didn't post it is because it's me, not because it's bad. It's because it's me and I don't like how I look. So. Yeah, it's very, it's a really weird feeling, kind of looking at other people and kind of going, well, why, why are you doing it? <laughs> kind of thing, like, why are you doing what I wish I could do? And kind of getting frustrated with myself, because I kind of go, you're only putting yourself down because it's you. If you weren't doing it, if it was someone else, you'd be 100% totally behind it. And it totally is true, it's so stupid. Um, but yeah, like, it's just, it's really daft when I think about it. 
about how much I put myself down. Um, I mean, there's so many pictures that I'll never post. And there's so much work I'll never do because of how much I put myself down in every shape, way, or form. Everything. Um, it's really, really silly. And I know it's really silly to, you know, kind of self deprecate because it gets you nowhere. It gets you absolutely fucking nowhere. Um, and I do find that a lot of people, when you do meet them in person, they're the same. They're exactly the same, but they're just better at covering it up than you. Just kind of, they've kind of got a pair of lady balls and they've kind of gone, you know what, whatever. We're all probably the same, we're all horrible shells on the inside. But some people just kind of know how to get over it. And I need to learn how to do that. And I am better at it. Like, I will give myself moderate praise. I think I am better at dealing with things than I was before. Um, honestly, like, a year ago, two years ago, I would have cried for, like, putting the wrong paint in a pint glass, like genuinely. Um, I'm just gonna get some highlights and bronze. Um, yeah, like genuinely have done up, have gotten very upset with myself over the silliest of things, but it really comes down to, I hate using the word silly so much, but that's exactly what it is, it's silliness. Um, there you go, my sleep palette. But yeah, um, if, if anyone ever did want to see video on kind of self-confidence, especially with like beauty and modeling and stuff like that. Um, because a lot of people I bump into like from real life, like from school and things like that, they kind of go, oh my god, you're so cool, you're so confident, I remember how you used to be, and I'm like, oh no, I'm still the same. <laughs> I'm still the same, just I'm online now, so you can't tell how many photos I've cropped and recropped and looked at and altered and kind of looked at and kind of gone, no, I'll never post that, and then I never do. Uh, this is a bit of back middle of pigment that I've just got sat on top of the bronzer lid. Back of the middle of pigment. Back old school, you know. Back on that hype. Just a bit of powder. Oh, my nose is so runny. Ooh. Any else hate fever yet? Just me. Just me, just me has high behavior when there's like not even a tree around me yet. What was in the neck? Beautiful. I'm just a bit of contour. Oh, it's the peaches and cream. I never call it this proper name. Peaches and cream powder sculpting. Sculpting powder in light medium. My favourite thing of all time. I think, genuinely. The other day people were talking about like, oh desert island, uh, what things did you take with me? And I was like, I don't know, <laughs> but I love bronzer. I've become really attached to bronzer the last few few months, that's for sure. Uh, gonna go in with my powder, yeah, my perfect colour for Primark. Can you tell I rated Primark and I've found some daggers. Smolder, I believe. Yes, smolder. Uh, living life on the edge today. That's for damn sure. Also, I'm not going anywhere. Oh my god, my eye! What are you like? A bit. Oh god, why did I not put lashes on? Why did I put lashes on when I do this? Back here is one of the same shades as before. Uh, upper hand from the Makeup Revolution Pro palette. I just spoke out the pencil a little bit. This is watering. Right. Uh, 
That was why I was my eye watering, by the way. I'm just gonna smooth that out. And then I'm gonna do mascara with the bottom lashes. Yes. So I'm gonna do mascara with the bottom lashes, gonna dust off all this powder, um, a bit of sex spray, and a lip. And I'm not sure what lip I'm gonna do first, but I'm gonna do something red. Something red. This is the finished look. Um, I popped on a red lip. I popped on Colourpop, Bossy Lip Pencil and Ilanaska uh, lipstick in Sangers. Um, I just kind of did that. And uh, yeah, so that's us really. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's kind of glitzy, kind of glam, a bit more. It's hilarious. That's the lighter kind of glam for me. Um, but yeah, I want to try something that's different. I really it was. I can't get words out. I was really inspired by the Revolution uh, glitter pot kind of voice, so I just want to do something kind of fun with that, and this is kind of where we go. Um, this is what we've got. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I have also posted a brow tutorial um, on how to how to do my brows. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, I'll pop the link in the bio for you. Um, but make sure to check out the rest of my channel if you would like to subscribe. I'd be very appreciative of that. Um, I'm just kind of really focusing on my channel this year. I really want to make the channel the best it can be. Um, currently, I am not receiving any money for my channel as the way that the YouTube algorithms have changed. Um, I will not be receiving money for my channel for quite a while, so I'm doing this purely as a passion project. Um, so I kind of hope that that can be a bit respected and kind of supported. Um, and yeah, this is this is us really. This is goodbye. Um, please make sure to subscribe, please put on the notification bell if you would so like, very appreciative of it. Um, I may have said on other platforms that if you subscribe you get a free puppy. Don't trust me, I lie all the time. Just saying. You don't get a free puppy, but you do get my support and love and that'd be, that is worth more than a thousand puppies. It's still worth a thousand puppies, but it's definitely worth something. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it and I love you all. I do